Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Another Footies Friday is past us, but EA definitely made it interesting yesterday by canceling some of their own content that we were expecting to see. I want to talk about why we won't see a Holland or a Vardy Footies SBC after that was canceled per EA's Twitter. I'll talk about why I think that happened and why I think it's not actually going to be released at all. Also talk about the dynamic duo that finally came yesterday in objectives with Moynier and Vitzel, and also the El Sharawi SBC, which was in a tremendous W of an SBC release yesterday, alongside of that 90 plus times five, which was uh, released as expected, which was kind of fun, right? We packed some fun cards from it. We actually did pack a Neymar and got so many messy trolls, man. So many Lautaro Martinez when we thought that it was messy. So also preview packs, again, going crazy making this market go nuts in terms of not a lot of supply right away. And then on that third hour, I'll talk about this a little bit later today, how this 88 plus star rare mega pack at the third hour after content crashed the market further. So there was a ton of crazy market movements. Gold rares at one point were like four to 5,000 coins because of that 90 plus times five pack. It was kind of an eventful day, even though it wasn't the most hype day of FIFA, it was definitely an eventful day. But for you guys that are wondering where in the world was our Holland, where in the world was our Vardy SBC, this is what happened. So literally four minutes before the content drop yesterday, EA FIFA Direct tweets this out. The release of Footy's Traits Upgrade Winner SBC has been canceled due to an unexpected issue. Literally, right before they would press the button to make this go live, four minutes beforehand, they cancel it and on a moment's notice. And again, this doesn't say postponed. This doesn't say we will see it at a later date. It'll be released. This says canceled. I don't know what happened here. Our best guess is honestly that EA physically couldn't do the trade upgrades, which doesn't make a lot of sense because they promised that they would. They said it was possible in the basically a little infographic. They said the, the winner of this vote will get a finesse trait um, and a flare trait and outside the foot. I don't know if like coding inside of the game prevented this. I don't know what happened with this vote, but no Holland, no Vardy is going to be coming out. The biggest W on this tweet is the fact that they got ratioed by Nick RTFM. That was the biggest W about this tweet right here. But we were shocked when we saw this yesterday because everybody was waiting to see, is Holland going to win? Is Vardy going to win? And how are those players going to feel in game with the potential weak foot skill move upgrades and the traits with the high rated stat boost that they would get on top of their team in the season card? So... I was bummed out yesterday when that content did not drop. But nonetheless, uh, we still got some decent content yesterday. Again, this El Shirawi SBC, the combination of this and that 85, sorry, the 90 plus times five, the 90 plus times five, and this right here required so many rare golds and lower um, lower rated cards. EA went with some of their quote unquote new, I guess, way of doing SBC. So this, this El Shirawi card right now, according to Footbin, will only set you back about 73,000 coins, but gold rare cards were four to 5,000 coins earlier today, which made this SBC and the 85, I keep saying 85 times 10, man. I'm just ingrained to saying the 85 times 10, but this SBC and the 90 plus upgrade times five made those very expensive. As you can see, 11 rare gold players right now is 32,000 coins. Rares are like 2,000 coins, 2,900 a piece on the market. And that is up, right? They were actually 5K right after the content drop with even the preview packs coming out uh, and supplying the market a little bit. People were going out and doing this 90 plus times five, of course, trying to pack some of the biggest tots cards that are, of course, in the game. But this, as we see, in my opinion, is still a dub. It only costs 118,000 coins to do. If you have rare rare gold cards in your club, you can craft an 85 rated squad with like one or two tots cards for very very cheap this was a fun sbc to kind of just go after today i saw a lot of people packing you know just some very average stuff but we did pack a neymar um we packed uh, a Lewandowski on stream today we packed a lot of high rated fodder and some decent cards too right so um you know it was a fun sbc to go out there and try out so the 85 i keep saying 85 man <laughs> 90 plus times five that was a really good SBC, right? GG's to E on that one. Hopefully that comes out later next week. Again, just like the 88 plus times five from two weeks ago, that is locked towards Footy's Batch 2. So you cannot save that pack for this next Friday where we have new items and packs that is locked for the TOTS cards and the stuff that is in Footy's Batch 2. So 
Again, just to kind of point that out, I did that SBC right away and I have my, I have some duplicates actually mine assigned because of it. But this was the other SBC and it's El Sharawi, right? 95 rated. The dynamic image here is a bit weird. Again, it's like a red jersey on a pink card background. The flow just doesn't really work well with that EA. I think we could have chosen a better dynamic image, but this SBC, even though it's four squads, literally only sets you back about 70,000 coins. You can basically, if you have some cards in your club, or if you wait, if you played squad battles this week, if you play weekend league rewards next week, you're going to be able to do this with literally just the stuff, the random stuff that you get back from those reward packs. And it's a very, very nice super sub item with finesse shot uh, trait on this El Shirawi, whose flashback item was so desirable and so OP earlier on this year in February when he was released. So that was the W parts of the content that were released yesterday. I think the 90 plus times five being fun and this El Shirawi being great priced, even though we didn't have the Holland or the Vardy, still made content pretty bearable, I guess you could say, on Friday. Now we all we finally had the dynamic duo. This these two guys, Vitzel and Moynier, were talked about all week long. People were saying, hey, there's leaks. Vitzel and Moynier are gonna be released. And this Vitzel card looks really, really nasty. Four star, four star CDM. Uh, he, he looks like an incredible card. I think a lot of people, maybe not a lot of people, but a decent amount of people, I think, will end up doing this objective. The only the only problem that I have with this is I wish it would have been released earlier in the week. So people who wanted to use these guys as a part of their Bundesliga Weekend League Plus had the chance to do so before it was the middle of the Weekend League. And then they had to stop their Weekend League to go play this Foot Friendly, which was having issues. Even a lot of people couldn't even find the Foot Friendly Bundesliga basics inside of the game. It was like having issues on PC and Xbox, I believe, uh, showing up. Um, I, I just wish that this content would have come earlier in the week. Last week, it would have made much more sense to me. So that was kind of like, okay content the cards are nice but just the timing of it is definitely not the best in my opinion right there so that was our content yesterday on friday now i want to talk about market as well because i definitely made some trades we definitely made some coins uh, i still have a retrialist and how much is he on the market right now i snagged this in some of the panic for 495k he is currently i'm just going to relist that up at 577 i'm going to try to sell that overnight but there was some flips that you could definitely do because panic selling and um, uh, some supply on the market. I bought some Davies at 120K. I bought some Wabasaka in the one low 100s. But some of those profits for me were cut short because of the supply that happened yesterday. So what actually happened yesterday on Friday is EA Sports dropped lightning rounds. Yes, you heard me correctly. They dropped preview pack lightning rounds um, of 100K packs for the first hour, 125K packs for the second hour, and in the third hour, like we just looked at inside of the single player draft section here, they dropped the 88 plus star um, rare mega preview pack, which this pack, as we know, it supplies the market a ton. So what you actually had here, and I'm going to show you the perfect example of what happened with a lot of cards today on the market, was you had not a lot of supply. You had a little bit of panic selling and you had a little bit of supply from the 100k pack lightning round happened yesterday. So this Goretzka went from 450,000 coins down to like 370. He was 370 at his lowest. We were kind of watching this card. He rebounded all the way back to about 420, 430,000 coins. And then the second and third lightning rounds hit, and especially that third one with this 88 plus star rare mega preview pack, which has five packs that you can do. If you make profit, you can buy up to four more after your first one. And this is supplying the market like mad. And Gretzka is now 347,000 coins. So it's crazy, right? Normally on Fridays, we see cards kind of hit their lows with panic selling in that first maybe 20 to 30 minutes. And then they kind of rebound back up into the evening. But what we actually saw was a little bit of panic, then a rebound, and then a bigger drop after that because of that supply. Same thing happened with Alfonso Davies. He went from 160K down to 120, under 120 is where I was buying him, went back up to 140 and then crashed down to 110,000 coins. He's now kind of starting to rebound back up again overnight tonight. But just very, very interesting how, again, we t I feel like we're talking about this every single week. At one point, this sort of thing happens. Preview packs control this market. EA Sports can drop a preview pack whenever they want and supply cards and make people lose coins in an instant, right? And again, that's something we have to keep in mind and be ready for when we head into FIFA 22. But if you saw some prices going down, that is absolutely, um, that's kind of the situation of what happened 
uh, today on the market or on Friday, kind of into today on Saturday. So, you know, even some of these cards that are high tier, though, like this is Goretzka, some people are still going to be doing weekend league with, wow, 347 was a big undercut on Goretzka. I'm actually going to go back to this card for a second because Footpin is showing 347 with multiple cards there, and he is instantly back to 370. So the thing with these cards, too, is when they have supply like this, you also sometimes see them get rare. Now, if I can find a Goretzka at maybe like 340K on an undercut, I'm absolutely going to do that because I can see this rarity for this card. One just got bought at 370. So I'm definitely keeping an eye on some of these Tots cards that went down a lot. Uh, because they could still bounce back. They could still bounce back into the morning a little bit on Saturday. I wouldn't expect big bounces back. Uh, like, I'm pretty sure Rashford was just 300,000 coins. Oh my goodness, this Goretzka is getting bought up, man. Wow. So, this is a situation I got I kind of have to watch this right now because Footbin shows his price at 350 and he's actually 375. Um, but, you know, even like uh, Mr. Sancho, right? Sancho is a card that like everybody's going to want to use in the weekend league. He is 360 according to Footbin, 359 right there. He's got a few cards to 370. So we're just kind of looking for rarity, right? We're looking for rarity, finding some undercuts as these cards kind of get uh, sold off with their supply. They could still bounce back up a little bit. So again, you want to be really careful though, because a lot of these Bundesliga cards specifically, uh, looks like the same thing is kind of happening here with the young. Footbin has him at 230. He's actually 240, 245. Um, but you really want to be careful with the Bundesliga. You really, really do. Because a lot of those Bundesliga cards that got supplied, like we saw last week with the Prem, they're going to get destroyed in price. Sancho, especially since they were supp supplied even more yesterday, this Goretzka card, the Lewandowski, the Alfonso Davies, they're really going to get hit in price over the next mm, basically two days because of the weekend league sell-off and because of people selling their Bundesliga cards that they were using in the weekend league win those weekend league plus uh, objectives when they hit that mark. So that's one thing that I really, really watch out for is that selling and that kind of stuff on the market, even on the high tier part of the market, like cards like Mbappe, who was 1.3 million coins, who's rebounded back up. He was 1.3 million coins like all morning, but now he's back down to 1.2. I would not be surprised if this dips back into the one point under 1.2, like 1.15 range maybe on the weekend league sell-off, depending on how good the content is in the next few days. So just watch this weekend league sell-off. Again, it will be starting today. I don't think it'd be crazy, crazy this morning, but Saturdays have been the day where you start to see a lot of the sell-off, specifically when it comes to some of these cards that are in weekend league plus, like the Bundesliga for this week you'll see a lot of these cards really start to drop off. So Lewandowski was like 200,000 coins earlier yesterday. I think now he's like 170 after a little bit of that, that supply and that panic. So again, it's just the sell-off is definitely going to start today as people who try to get ahead of the game will start to sell some of their cards um, that they are using in the weekend league. So just be careful for that. And again, whatever content we have today too, will kind of play into that. If we have a good icon SBC that is released today, because Saturdays, at least last week, uh, and I think I see this going forward today. Saturdays are the new Icon SBC day. This is 92 plus Icon Moments player pick expires today on Saturday. I would expect to see some sort of new one re-released uh, inside of this game today on Saturday. Also, the uh, draft token upgrade is going away. Now, since they did re-up the 85 times 10, I think a lot of people are really hoping that they would re-up um, the draft token upgrade pack as well, which I think is very possible, especially considering that the draft objectives are still available under the milestone tab for at least like, what is it? Draft days is out for, I mean, the rest of the season, which is 34 days, as you can see up here when the timer goes back to the days. So I still think they'll re-release that draft token. If not, if you don't want to risk it, you can definitely go ahead and do a couple of those. Gold, gold non-rares are still very cheap. So that'd be an opportunity to maybe, um, get some gold non rares get some of those draft tokens just in case you think they're going to be going away and stock up on those real quick. But again, yesterday was kind of a crazy day because it seemed like a slow day for the market. And then EA dropped those supply, uh, the preview packs kind of just, I'll, I'll say it, man, out of nowhere, out of nowhere. I think it was 9 PM UK. They just kind of dropped those out of nowhere. And that surprised a lot of people. And that surprised me. It really surprised me to have that 88 plus kind of sitting there overnight and I was not expecting to see that content from EA 
released when it was. So we'll see what happens today on Saturday in terms of the market, in terms of the sell-off. I do think you'll see a lot of the Bundesliga stuff start to drop. Now, we talked about that Icon SBC. Hopefully some sort of Icon player pick today. Hopefully it's good value. Fodder is cheap, man. Fodder is cheap. The stuff that is expensive are rare golds. Like literally, the stuff that is the most overpriced right now on this market is are the rare gold cards. They're like still 3,000 coins a pop. They were 4K to 5K earlier today in the heat of the moment after the content dropped. So I do think these will maybe simmer down a little bit in price depending on the content that is dropped today. Um, but you look at some of these SBCs on the higher tier end, take a look at some of these icon SBCs and how much their prices have dropped. Ronaldinho is 2.3 million coins to do as the higher tier fodder on this market just continues to go down, making it cheaper to do this SBC. I mean, check a look at this, 3.3 mil like a week ago. Now he's down to 2.4 mil to craft from scratch. So a lot of this high tier fodder just drops lower and lower as these TOTS cards just get supplied and supplied. And the stuff that is the most expensive is the cheap stuff, which is crazy to kind of think about. But today again on Saturday, I do expect another player SBC. I believe on Fridays and Saturdays, both the last like four weeks, we have had player SBC. So I don't know who it will be. Maybe they'll go with a March footies favorite. Maybe they'll stick with another February item, which if we're going in February, I guess you could think of like Future Stars was in February uh, as a promo. I believe there was one more big promo in February. Uh, right after team of the season. Yeah, Future Stars was right at the beginning of February. And then actually, what if the what if promo started um, at the very end of February? So that's just kind of something to keep your eye out for, depending on what kind of card could be coming today, whether it's objectives, which I think they would rather do an SBC item first. I would expect more of a player SBC today, some sort of icon player pick, the re release draft token. And that just might be it for our content today on Saturday, but it'll be very interesting regardless. We'll have new preview packs and all that sort of stuff. And the Bundesliga sell-off, I think is gonna be pretty heavy, of course, as we have talked about. So the crafting grind continues. If you're trying to craft, again, the 85 times 10 being out and that 90 plus times five was a very nice pack to do if you're trying to craft and get very high rated cards to do a card like Ronaldinho, to do an icon, or maybe even just to do like Depay or Dybala or any of those SBCs that are out right now. It is very easy to craft these packs and to get high rated players to do SBCs. So that is a fun thing that you can do, of course. As we head into this final, uh, final week of batch two, and we all look forward to the time where we see batch number three in packs, we see summer stars in packs, we see PTG cards in packs, and I think that's going to be a really, really fun time on this game next week. So hopefully the content is just as grindable then as it is now. Again, since this was re-released, you'll have opportunities to stack up those 85 plus upgrades times 10. And uh, with whatever player picks that we get on Sunday, we'll be able to maybe craft some of that stuff later on this week in the game. But again, yesterday was, again, just characterized by this weird... This is just weird in the fact that it was right before content and it's just so vague and just so short and it's like okay just like that boom the content you thought you were getting is is now done so that was crazy again i i just can't i can't get over how crazy it was to see this tweet and literally right before the content be like expecting holland expecting vardy and then all of a sudden boom it vanishes out of thin air and then sbc is gone so again crazy day on the market of course with that selling i think you'll see prices kind of go down more even today with that supply we talked about the preview packs. We talked about the content, the objectives, and all that good stuff. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.